on the Mars surface. This is a fuel cell. A planet recreated. This is a weather station. In miniature. These are just Otherwise known as Mars in a sandbox, with all the kit the astronauts will need on the surface, including a brick-making machine and a reconfigured treadmill to simulate the planet's lesser gravity. Four volunteers will be living here for a year. Part of the activities for a Mars mission would be, besides the geology and exploration, building and maintaining that infrastructure for life on Mars. For a quick tour around this 3D printed dome, there are four small bedrooms with supplementary TV and board games. Now we're moving into the workspace. It's a mini office with an attached robot station and two bathrooms. Life will get tough for those chosen to take part. We can have crew in isolation and confinement with Mars realistic restrictions, and we can really start to understand how those restrictions are, are um, associated with their health and performance over that year. Food and even water will be restricted to watch how the volunteers perform and how and if they actually get on with each other. And they'll use a crop area to grow their own leafy greens. They're also figuring out what samples and souvenirs they can get hold of. What will we prioritize to bring back to Earth since, you know, payloads are always limited and how much they can bring back. And so this is another aspect of the work they'll be doing to be Mars realistic. Three Mariner spacecraft have flown by Mars in recent years. The search for life on the Red Planet has gone on for decades, with the first successful space probe landing in the 70s. Now, with Elon Musk's SpaceX joining NASA, these space pods may become the hotels of the future.